Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Dozzle on CostOS using Big Bird CostOS, the third party app store. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over Home Labs, you're installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So, Go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So this is Dozzle. It's a lightweight web-based Docker log viewer that provides real-time mo monitoring and easy tr tr troubleshooting. This is what it looks like. It's got a, a nice UI to it, and you can qu quickly look at the logs of each con container. And you can put them uh, side by side to look at the logs as well. It's got real-time logging, lightweight, and multi-host support. It is a open source project, so you can go up here to GitHub and go to the GitHub and see the progress on it. Um, it has intelligent f a fuzzy search for container names, search logs with uh, using regex, uh, small memory footprint, Split screen uh, for viewing multiple logs. That's what I was talking about, split screening. Uh, d uh, download logs uh, easily. Uh, live stats is what, with memory and CPU usage. Multi-user authentication with support for proxy forward authorization. So uh, it's really nice. And we're going to get to installing this on Cost OS. So we're going to start on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. This is a third-party app store made for Cost OS. Uh, it's maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. Um, it has quite a few apps now in it. And I did make a video on how to install Beeper CostOS on CostOS, but I'm going to go over it in, that, in this video as well. You will need CostOS version 0 0.4.4 or newer. Um, so I'm going to scroll back up to App Store URI right here. I'm going to copy it, and then I'm going to go over to my CostOS and get to set up. So now I'm going to start on my CostOS. I'm going to go to App Store right here. And I'm going to go add source over here, click it, then text to input pops out. I'm going to paste in the .zip that we co I copied, the URL, and then I'm going to add right here. It's going to say 146 apps or more is on there. Um, it could be more by the time you uh, get to install this. Um, so I'm going to uh, have to refresh the page because there's no category over here for Big Bird Cost OS yet. So I'm going to refresh the page real quick, go back in App Store. And then I'm going to go to Categories, and then you see Big Bear Cost OS right here. So you can see all the apps that are uh, maintained by Big Bear Tech, uh, Tech World and the Big Bear community right here. Um, so you can easily install them. Um, so we got Big Bear Cost OS set up. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Cost OS. I'm going to go into Apps, and then I'm going to scroll down to Dozzle, and then Docker Compose. And then the Cost OS app name is called Big Bear Dozzle. I'm going to set services, and then the first service underneath the services is called App. And then the container name is going to be called Big Bear Dozzle. The image is coming off Docker Hub by default, and then this is the Docker image. And then this is the Docker image tag. This is currently the latest version right now. Um, restart unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then I'm going to set vo volumes down here. So I'm going to mount the docker.sock inside of the container. So var run docker.sock, var run docker.sock. So the left side is on the host side. The right side is the container. Do not change any of these. Um, so this makes the way the container has access to the Docker engine. And then I'm going to mount ports. So 8888 is on the host. 8080 is on the container. So that, that, if this does collide with another port on your host, then you can change this to another port. Um, so, uh, and this is on the container. So I'm going to set some cost OS specific information to explain things up here, like the volumes and ports. I'm going to set some cost OS specific information for the App Store. So the architectures are AMD64 and ARM64. This is what the actual Docker image supports up here. And then the main is set to the app name, the uh, the service name, I mean, right here, app. And then the, uh, the description, the tagline, the developer, the author of the Docker Compose, and then the icon, 
the thumbnail being used, which is nothing right now, and then the title, the application category. This makes it where it's easily, you can find all the Big Bear Cross OS apps in there. And then the port map is 8888. That's on the host side, so it rhymes with this port right here. So that's about the Docker Compose in Big Bear Cross OS for a dozzle. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to start on my Cos OS. I'm going to App Store, and then I'm going to go to the search right here. I'm going to type in Dozzle. And then now you can see it right here, and you know it's coming from Big Bear Cross OS because of the category down here. Um, so I'm going to click it, then I'm going to go to install right here. It's going to install. This is a download in the Docker image from the registry, getting it extracted and getting it up with Docker Compose underneath because this uses Docker Engine. Um, so you can see it's ready to open. So we got it installed. So now I'm going to go over the container options in Cos OS. So if you go up these vertical dots, you can open in the web UI. You can set some tips. This is kind of like a notepad. And then you can just type in there, type testing. Then you press save right here. It'll reload the container in the background and say Dozzle is okay. Um, you can go back into tips. You can see it did save. You can go into settings and you can change some things in here and then press the save button if you'd like. And then you can go in the terminal, and the terminal is not supported. Uh, you can see the logs, great for debugging. You can export the Docker and pose. You can also um, check for updates. You can uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So now I'm going to go over the Dozzle UI. So you can open it from here, or you can go with these vertical dots right here and open it from here. Um, I did install another container called a Homer. Just to show you an example, you can see running containers, the CPU usage, the memory usage, the Dozzle version. You can see all the containers. And then um, you can go in the, uh, the cog and then go, go to settings up there. And then you can change some settings and display options. Um, you can go into each container by clicking it over here. You can also pin the container to the sidebar. You can unpin it by clicking the star again. You can co uh, come down here. And um, you can go to split screen by clicking this icon, and now it split screens bo both of them. Um, so that's a really nice, handy feature. You can also move it back and forth. You can see the memory, a load, memory, and load for each container. Um, you can go up to the top right here. You can clear, download, search, uh, show all streams. Um, you can also uh, take off the split screen by clicking the X right there. Um, you can go and search right here and you can search between the containers that are running uh, or in the dozzle. Um, you can click Command-K and get back to the search really easy. If you want to, uh, to, uh, to collapse this sidebar right here, you can go, go down here at the bottom left and you can collapse it and make the logs bigger. You can also uh, expand it again by clicking it. So that's a little bit about the dozzle UI. And Roll the bloopers. Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Dozzle on CosOS using Big Bear CosOS. So it's a third party app store. So if you like this, uh, hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Dozzle on Big Bear CosOS using. So I hope you enjoyed the bloopers, and if you did, make a comment down below and let me know if you uh, want me to do some more of them at the end of the videos now, from now on. So, uh, videoing's not easy, and uh, I want to show, I guess, the behind-the-scenes parts. So, stay tuned for more. So, I just showed you how to get Dozzle running on Cost OS using Big Bear Cost OS. So, if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So, stay tuned for more.